<laughs> Do you want us to wait? <laughs> How many times can I do it? Uh, three? You may now join your family. I am honored to be the MC for the last of six, well, actually, seven, because we had to make up one at lunchtime today for one that didn't film on the live stream. Uh, grad ceremonies this week at GHS. Graduation signifies completion, achievement, hope, the ability to do and master hard things, and in this case, in exceptionally challenging times. Graduation is the transition to the bigger and the better, and I am certain these young people before you, beside you, are looking forward to that. As a personal aside, I want to acknowledge that I started my career at GHS with this class of 2020 as they were entering grade 9. I have watched them grow and develop their identities. And because of this, they hold a special place in my heart. I am incredibly proud. Thank you to our guests uh, for working with us to ensure that appropriate precautions are followed in relation to COVID-19 the self-screening and sanitization upon arrival, the family groupings of chairs. Please respect physical distancing requirements of two meters between family groups. If you do need to call for sneeze, do so in your elbow. You will notice that we are using two microphones and sanitizing the podium in between users. As sad as this is, we will be avoiding the traditional gestures of handshakes and hugs. Also, grads, there is a water bottle underneath your chair with your name on it, should you get thirsty. It's a hot one today. I would also like to acknowledge that a number of staff and community members who want to be here are not attending the ceremony today. Normally, the entire staff, the superintendents, trustees, and those who offer scholarships to the graduates would be present at convocation to respect safety recommendations and physical distancing requirements, and so that more family members could be here. These other members of the ESD community did not attend, but do send their best wishes and congratulations to the graduates. Graduates will receive a letter from the superintendent and well wishes from the board and premier enclosed in their diplomas. We will now hear Superintendent Rose. 
Rosa Gray share greetings from Evergreen School Division via audio. Congratulations to Evergreen graduates of 2020. We could not be prouder of you. It is my great pleasure on behalf of Evergreen School Division staff and Board of Trustees to acknowledge and celebrate your accomplishment. High school graduation is a great milestone at any time and you are graduating amid a global pandemic. These last few months did not unfold as planned. You missed out on many high school moments that classes before you took for granted and as you move into the world, the future is uncertain. Although it seems we have been in a COVID holding pattern forever, this too shall pass. Everything does. One day, this will be over, and you will be left with the memories you made and the lessons you learned. You may have been too busy coping to see what you were learning, so I offer some thoughts about how you might want to look back on this time. You might remind yourself during the uncertainty, it was easy to feel low, but many things worked out better than you thought they would, such as the ceremony. In the absence of answers, our minds may race off to dark places, but things rarely turn out as badly as we first think. Looking back, you might see that many of your worries were not useful. In the future, when your life takes an unexpected turn and you are left with broken plans and a heavy heart, I hope you'll keep faith that, in the end, everything will be okay. For most, the biggest challenge of this pandemic was the stay-at-home order, which separated us from our family and friends. By week five of staying home, you might have started to miss people you weren't even sure you liked. None of us does as well alone as we do with the support of others. We need each other. We all have something to give and learn from one another. As you move forward, it is worth remembering how dependent we are on each other for strength and joy. No one does great things alone. Continue to look for ways to show up for those around you. Finally, I want you to remember that you are capable and you can do hard things. Every day since the day you were born, you have been learning and adapting and getting stronger. The path ahead of you will be windy, bumpy, and full of surprises. The degree to which you live a meaningful and successful life will depend completely on your ability to begin again after your plans fail. When life disrupts your plans, commit yourself to what matters, remind yourself how strong you are, and keep moving forward. The world needs your kindness and courage. We wish you great adventures as you journey towards a life filled with love, purpose and accomplishment. Know that we will support you always. Congratulations. Keep making us proud. Thank you, Mrs. Gray. I would now like to call upon Mrs. Leona Groot to share her principal's message. Good afternoon and welcome to the 6th of 6 Gimli High School grad of 2020 ceremonies. It's so nice to see parents, family, guests and staff gathered here in person as well as via live stream to celebrate the accomplishments of our honoured graduates on this beautiful day. Thank you for taking the time to support our grade 12s who have reached this milestone and thank you for helping to bring them together one last time to recognize all that you have accomplished, all that they have accomplished. To the graduates, although these unique and trying times are tough right now, and it's certainly a time when starting out as young people may feel like a challenge, we know that tough times do not last. We need to make occasions to celebrate, such as this event today, in order to get through those tough times. There will always be bad times in your life, hopefully only one global pandemic, and these bad times will pass. Today needs to be a day of celebration, a happy time to spend with fellow classmates, and a time to recognize the special occasion of finishing high school. 
Graduation marks the end of your childhood and your passage into adulthood. A time when you start to take charge of your life and a time when the choices that you make become yours and yours alone. Do you remember what it felt like for you when you entered into grade nine, Brock? How little you were back then and how much you have grown since both literally and figuratively. We are very prou proud of your academic accomplishments. Do you remember the day you entered Gimli High School, Wade, from Minnedosa, and how that felt? It couldn't have been easy trying to learn tough subjects and meet new people, but you persevered, made new friends, got involved in school life, and, att and attained the label of being a super nice guy. Seth, I believe that the experiences that you had in high school, whether you would consider them accomplishments or hardships, have made you a better person. I wish you the best. Congrats to the three of you, Brock, Seth, and Wade, for a job well done. Adulthood is now upon you, and making choices, good, I hope, will be a thing that you will do on a regular basis moving forward. As fine young graduates, each of you need to think about your passions and how you have developed them over the last four years. Dalton and Kenya both have a talent in the area of fine arts. I wanted to mention uh, that Ms. Dubois was so proud of your wall mural, Kenya, that she shared an image with staff during remote learning, and it was fantastic. And Dalton, wow. What an amazing COVID-19 photo op that you created for us. Each of you will have an opportunity to take pictures in front of it when you take the tour through GHS after the ceremony. My hope for each of you is that fine arts will become a part of your future plans. Ashley, you are a student with many talents. How fortunate to be so well-rounded that you have the opportunity to choose from your strength in historical perspectives, your solid understanding of math, or your ability to excel in English language arts. When you decide to step into the world of university life, I know that you won't regret it. And finally, there are two students that I have seen a lot of over the last few years. I like to call them Sun 3 and Sun 4. <laughs> Thor and Chris, you are such fine young men, and I know that your parents are very proud of you. You are kind and empathetic, representing our GHS Laker acronym in so many ways. I know you will explore your passions as you head off to post-secondary at the University of Winnipeg and the University of Lethbridge in the fall. And please remember that our family's home is always open to you, so come back and visit once in a while. I wish each of you all of the best as you pursue your dreams connected to these areas. I know you will be successful. How do you know what the right path for you will be? My message to you is simple. Learn to dream, dream big, love what you do, and get good at it. For those adults in the crowd with more than one graduation experience, you will probably agree with me that high school graduation will be the most memorable graduation that you will have. This is the group of students that you spent many years with. I am, I am sure that there have been ups and downs, times when you couldn't stand each other, and other times when the best friendships were forged. Please recognize those moments for what they were. Learn from the situations that were hurtful and become a better person because of it. And cherish the moments when good things came from your interactions. There will be many more ups and downs in your life. The learning experiences now will lay a foundation for how you will react to life situations in the future. And I know you will make good choices. So as you go out into the world today, I'd like to leave you with a quote from William Arthur Ward, an often quoted writer. And he said, if you can imagine it, you can achieve it. If you can dream it, you can become it. Take care and good luck.
be continuing our ceremony with the presentation of awards, scholarships, and diplomas. Mrs. Noble will start us off, and presentations will be distributed by Mrs. Groot, Mrs. Dan Kochik, Mrs. Elfson, and Mrs. Noble. Ms. Dubois will be our reader. our school community, I want to acknowledge and express our gratitude to the contributors of community scholarships and awards. You will see in your program that our awards are many. We are incredibly fortunate for the ongoing sponsorship from community members, families, and organizations. Even during uncertain times, you continue to support, invest, and instill hope for the future through the gift of a post-secondary education. Please join me in giving a round of applause to our exceptionally generous community donors. Next, I'm going to provide an explanation of the high school diploma categories. To achieve a Manitoba diploma, a student must have a minimum of 30 credits. To achieve the Manitoba diploma with honors, a student must have a minimum of 30 credits and a minimum average of 80% in all grade 12 courses. To achieve the Evergreen School Division Diploma, a student must have a minimum of 32 credits. To achieve the Evergreen School Division Diploma with distinction, a student must have a minimum of 32 credits and a minimum average of 80% in five grade 12 courses that must include English and math. And lastly, graduates, here are your instructions. Each graduate will be called up to the stage only once for the presentation of diplomas, scholarships, and awards. Measures will be taken to ensure physical distancing. When your name is called, please walk up to the stage and stand underneath the GHS archway. And as you approach the stage, Ms. Dubois is gonna read a nice little note about you. If you're receiving scholarships and or sports awards, these will be summarized and presented in one package by Mrs. Dan Kochik. You will then face Mrs. Groot for the presentation of your diploma. These documents will be placed on the table for the graduate to collect. Upon presentation of your diploma, please face the assembly and move your own tassel from right to left to represent your status as a high school graduate. Finally, before returning your, to your seat, please pause for a picture. We have Mr. Anders Kaselka, professional photographer, ready to capture those pearly whites. Any questions? All right, here we go. Del Zotto. Thor may be on the quiet side, but he is known for his insightful and introspective contributions to class and his love of world travel. We will miss seeing him walking the halls with his mug of coffee. <laughs> Thor plans to pursue post-secondary studies at the University of Winnipeg. Thor is receiving a certificate acknowledging his University of Winnipeg Entrance Award, conditionally offered on his grades and academic average in the amount of $1,750. This is great, we'll now present the diploma. Thor is graduating with an Evergreen School Division Brock's proudest moment. 
Helmet was representing GHS at provincials in both cross, cross country and track in the same year. He is enrolled in the Faculty of Science with hopes of pursuing a profession in the medical field. Brock leaves us with a quote, the future belongs to those who believe in their dreams. Brock is receiving an athletic award for excellence and leadership in soccer as this year's MVP. Memorial Scholarship in the amount of $300. The University of Winnipeg Entrance Award, conditionally offered based on its grades and academic average in the amount of $1,750. This is group will now present the diploma. Brock is graduating with an Evergreen School Division Diploma with distinction. Desma Salazar. <laughs> Kenny can be described as shy and quiet, but always diligent in her schoolwork. Her proudest moment is graduating. Her future plan is to study forensic psychology and continue learning about the human mind. Kenny leaves us with this quote, graduating high school was easier than crossing the border. <laughs> Kenny is receiving the following awards. The Evergreen Basic Needs Community Achievement Award for her dedication and service to others as a volunteer at EBN in the amount of $500. Then the Masters Victor P. Beeson Memorial Award in the amount of $250 for exhibiting significant personal and academic improvement. Then the RM of Gimli Award in recognition of her high academic achievement and involvement in school and our community activities in the amount of $500. Mrs. Groot will now present the diploma. Kenny is graduating with an Evergreen School Division Diploma with distinction. is a talented artist and has lent her creative eye to the yearbook photographs. Dalton plans on attending the Fine Arts Faculty at the U of M and hopes to one day create and direct while still making time for travel. Dalton is receiving the Gimli Art Club Award for her engagement and commitment to integrating creativity into the community in the amount of $100. will now present the diploma. Dalton is graduating with an Evergreen School Division Diploma with distinction. Congratulations, Dalton. Seth Mohan. Seth can be described as laid back and relaxed, able to think outside the box especially when it made things more convenient for him. <laughs> Seth finds meaning in the following quote, especially during these unique times. Screaming is laughing in reverse. Right now, things might seem scary, but in the future, I will be laughing. Mrs. Groot will now present the diploma. Seth is graduating with an Evergreen School Division diploma. Move your tassel, dear. <laughs> Congratulations, Seth. Ashley Smith. Woo! Ashley cares immensely about all the people in her life and is, in fact, known as the mom in her friend group. She plans to take a year off and then attend university to pursue her goal of a career in forensic psychology. Ashley believes in the quote, it's better to be the one that smiled than the one who didn't smile back. Mrs. Groot will now present the diploma. Ashley is graduating with an Evergreen School Division Diploma with distinction. Congratulations, Ashley. Wade 
Wasco. Wade can be described as honest, authentic, and kind. He hopes to one day come back and inspire students as his teachers have. He leaves us with the quote, one must let go of the past to hold on to the future. Wade, you wascally wabbit. <laughs> Wade is receiving the following scholarships and awards. The BBP Music Scholarship for demonstrating his willingness for musical growth as a member of the Grade 12 Band in the amount of $300. An Evergreen School Division Award in recognition of his high academic achievement, community service, citizenship, and healthy lifestyle choices in the amount of $500. And lastly, the Evergreen Teachers Association Bursary for High Academic Achievement and his intentions to attend the Faculty of Education in the amount of $500. Mrs. Groot will now present the diploma. Wade is graduating with an Evergreen School Division Diploma with distinction. Mr. Castle Wade. Congratulations, Wade. Christopher Winko. Chris's favorite memory is doing crazy experiments in the chemistry lab. He plans to attend Lethbridge University and become a psychiatrist. As for his bucket list, he wants to skydive. Chris leaves us with the quote, there's no such thing as a bad idea, just a good idea with poor execution. <laughs> Chris is receiving the following scholarships and awards. Camp Morton Ladies Aid, in recognition of his good academic achievement and involvement in community activities in the amount of $300. The Canada Iceland Foundation, Margaret Bjarnson Memorial Scholarship for achieving high academic excellence, involvement in extracurricular activities, and participation in community service in the amount of $500. Gimli Seniors Resource Council Scholarship, recognition of his active community service in the amount of $500. The Lakeside Lions of Winnipeg Beach Scholarship for a student who attended Winnipeg Beach School, achieved academic excellence, and is involved in extracurricular activities and community service in the amount of $500. Life Touch Canada. Incorporated Award in recognition of his cooperative teamwork and significant contributions to graduation day planning and organization in the amount of $125. Novantis Credit Union, Winnipeg Beach Bursary, given to a resident in the amount of $500 with good academic standing and involvement in community service, who also pursues the highest standards of ethics and respect has a positive attitude and outlook, and demonstrates accountability, cooperation, and leadership. <laughs> Rotary Club of Gimli Award for his high academic achievement and involvement in school and or community activities in the amount of $1,000. <laughs> Lastly, West Shore Community Foundation Incorporated Scholarship for his high potential for success, academic grades, and volunteerism in the amount of $500. Mrs. is and I'll present the diploma. Christopher is graduating with an Evergreen School Division Diploma with distinction. Congratulations, Chris. presentation of scholarships, awards, and diplomas. Congratulations, all grads. Thank you, ladies. Typically, we would witness a val valedictorian speech live and in living color, but because this year is just a little different, our valedictorians, Tyson Groot and Maggie Mitchell, have written and pre-recorded their
since we started. And here some of us sit getting our diplomas in a ceremony that can only be described as the only way given the circumstances. Both Tyson and myself are honoured and thankful to represent the GHS Class of 2020 today and a few other days. I remember many of us at one point saying, wow, 2020, what a cool year to graduate. It has such a nice ring to it. Class of 2020. Well, aren't we regretting saying that now? <laughs> so let's get the big elephant out of the room instead of us sitting here wondering why you're hearing our voices and not seeing us speak on stage. I know many of us have gotten upset because of everything that's changed since COVID. Like not having senior skip day. But think about it like this. We've pulled off the best skip day in history because ours lasted four months. <laughs> but today isn't about COVID. Today isn't about everything we missed or didn't have the chance to do. It's about what we did do and what we can do. I'm glad all of you made it out to support us through the most unorthodox grad ever. Freshman year, we weren't necessarily scared, but we were cautious. We understood that we were at the bottom of the food chain, and despite being eager and excited about being in high school, we knew not to step on anyone's toes, and we tried our best not to. Grade 9 was a year to settle in and figure out our priorities. There were no school trips for us, which gave us time to stick in the building and figure out what we liked. When sophomore year came around, we were no longer so cautious. We were ready to start making our mark at GHS. The boys made it to the finals of basketball credentials. We had a trip to Costa Rica, we had our first opportunity to go on the GHS ski trip, and more of us started to join clubs such as Enviro, Ski Club, and Student Council. Now our overall presence in the halls was more known. This was the first year we were able to go on the school ski trip. Now one of my personal favorite high school memories, singing on the long bus ride, skiing for two days straight, and hanging out at the hotel. For a high school trip, it doesn't get much better. I was one of the lucky individuals that got a chance to play on one of our many sports teams. I'll never forget the experiences I had with my team, most of which I can't talk about today. The few things I can talk about is how I learned to lose with pride in grade 10 when our basketball team lost provincials in the final. And this year, when provincials got cancelled entirely, through it all, our team stayed together and strong. When junior year rolled around, we were already starting to feel like seniors. You could say any fears we had were gone, and even though we weren't seniors, we didn't care. We were more involved in our school than ever, and this year has lots in store for us. We had the Europe trip, the ski trip again, a fishing trip, the band had moose jaw trip, more of killing it at grade wars, university talk started, and it was the first year we were able to go to safe grab. The ski trip had convinced me that was the best a school trip could get. Well, I was wrong. The Europe trip was the most incredible high school experience I have ever had. In our 10 days overseas, we saw numerous French cities, including Paris, along with a few cities in Belgium. Exploring the cities and learning from the war sites we visited was an experience like no other. And now senior year. This year, we really solidified our dominance over every other grade by winning grade wars four years in a row. Now, some of you might argue that we cheated here and there, but we never got caught. So did it even happen? We were finally on top of the food chain, and after only attending grads, our big day was finally on the horizon. And this year had so much in store. Like one last round of grade wars. Oh, never mind. And got to go on a trip to Chicago. Wait, that never happened. But the boys had a really good shot at provincials. Oh, that also didn't happen. Hey, did you mention we're at the top of the food chain yet? Yeah, that's about it. The things our class will be remembered by is the first attempt at remote learning. Not having provincial exams. And the blessing of baseline marks. <laughs> we would like to say a brief thank you to everyone that helped us get here today and made this ceremony possible. Thank you to all of our coaches who pushed us physically and mentally to become better athletes. Thank you, teachers, for enhancing our knowledge and answering all of our questions. Thank you to all of the staff for your generous help. And thank you, parents, for motivating us, helping us, and your never-ending support. And to our fellow graduates, thank you for the many years of memories. This might not have been pretty, but we made it, and we should all be proud of ourselves. Though we don't know what the future holds, to everyone who wants to start working, we wish you the best of luck. Everyone wanting to travel? 
Nice try, but you'll have to wait a few years. And to those who wish to pursue a post-secondary education or trade, we wish you the best of luck learning online or in the classroom. Today we may say our goodbyes, but it's not the end. We get to continue to celebrate each other's success in the fall. So as we leave today, let's remember the friendships and memories we made in the many years leading up to today. Thank, Thank you. you. in the audience today and I considered calling him up to uh, make a personal speech but I didn't think you would like that too much. <laughs> Thank you. It's a great speech. <laughs> All right so prior to formally closing our ceremony today I would like to explain the post-ceremony events occurring inside the school. Uh, you will have received a map of the school explaining all of the stations you can visit, including a chance to view the traditional grad portrait slash baby picture slideshow, several creative photo opportunities, a thank you station, and a memory wall where you can share your memories or congratulations with the graduates. The trophies and medals associated with sports awards that were acknowledged during the ceremony will be presented at one of the stations. This will also be a chance for graduates to see staff members one more time and to take some great photos with your family. During your last victory lap of the school, we would like to remind you that it is still necessary to maintain physical distancing between family groups. Please walk on the right hand side of the halls and wait until a station is vacated prior to entering the space. When you are ready to enter the school for events, please enter through the main doors, respecting the markers on the sidewalk. If there is a family group ahead of you, you will exit through the east doors at the end of the tour. Uh, grads are reminded that they must return their grad gowns at the east doors before leaving today. Uh, we are so thankful and so very, very proud that you were able to come and celebrate with us today. We hope that you will stay a while and take that one last victory lap through the halls of Gimli High School. I now invite all graduates of 2020 to come back to their processional position at the front of the stage for one final round of applause. You have earned it.